Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Silhouette Sunday video. In today's video, I'm going to be making a really easy and affordable teacher appreciation type gift. And these are items that I actually picked up at Target's uh, Dollar Spot, also known as Bullseye's Playground. And this is a very easy project, so it's perfect for beginners. And I figured I would answer a few questions along the way as I work through this. And the first question I often get is, how do I size something for a front of a project? How do I know how big a vinyl cutout or a decal or something needs to be when I'm actually designing? And the method I actually like to use is the square method. And effectively, you just measure out the front of your item and you envision a square or a rectangle. And basically what you're doing is filling that square with your font. And you know that you need to make your item that you're typing or designing or your image as big as that square, but you can't make it any bigger. And if you make it smaller, it may be too small. So I like to use the square method. So having said that, I've gone ahead and I've measured out the front of this apple and roughly the area that I'm working with is five by four. So I'm going to click on the rectangle tool on the left and draw a rectangle on my mat that is roughly five by four. And it's not going to be perfect and that's okay because this is not for precision. This is just for a frame of reference for what I'm working with. And now I can go back to my arrow tool and move this up to the top left hand corner because that's where I'm going to be cutting my scrap piece of vinyl out on my digital mat. And now I can add my font. So this particular decal is from Miss Moroff. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the text tool on the left-hand side and click on my mat, mat and just type MS period. And I actually don't want this to be this font that's currently selected, so I'm going to highlight it and change it to a font called Beechwood. And Beechwood is actually a duo font where one is in script and one is a sans serif font. So I'm gonna click on the sans version of the font and then click away. And here I have the miss. And then I'm gonna select my text tool again, click on my mat and type her last name. And I'm going to do the same process again. I'm going to highlight and then change this font to just Beechwood, which is the cursive script. Now it's difficult to see here, but if I zoom in, you can actually see these letters landed quite nicely, so I don't need to move them independently. So I'm going to right click and select weld to put them all together. And now I can position my miss and more off together so that they are next to each other the way I want them cut out on my final design. So before I click anything else, because my M is not molded to the rest, or excuse me, welded to the rest of the design, I'm going to right click and go down to group. And now I can move this with this without it separating. So I'm just gonna move this up here. And once I'm comfortable with the way it looks, I can draw a box around everything and just size this so that I go to the maximum width of the box. In this particular design, I'm not going to be able to reach the height because of the length of the name, but that's okay. So that looks pretty good. Now, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and delete that box and not use it at like so, or I could leave it as a weeding tool. It's totally up to you and whatever your preference is, but in this instance, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it deleted. And now I'm ready to send this to the silhouette to cut out. Here is my cutout design, and I'm just going to go through the process of weeding. And for any of you beginners out there, weeding is the process of taking away all the pieces you don't need. So the largest piece I was able to pull by hand, but the smaller pieces on the inside of the O and the R, I'll have to remove using a pick tool. To get the text off of the backer sheet, I'm going to use a piece of transfer tape. Transfer tape is a low tack tape that comes in sheets or it comes on a roll sometimes and you remove it off of the backer sheet and place it down on your design and just rub your fingers over it until it pops up and it doesn't take much to get it to peel off of the backer. Then I'm going to place my design down where I want it on my final project 
and I did use the red grid lines when picking it up off the backer sheet to make sure that it was straight. In order to help the design come off the transfer tape, I just rubbed over it with my hand and the heat from your fingertips will actually make the design stick to your final project. And here is a look at the final product. And as always guys, thanks for watching.